Hey folks, Paul Phillips here with Patek Photography and Gear Reviews. In this video, we're going to take a look at a brand new camera backpack from Mindshift Gear. It's called the Photocross 15. And to decide whether or not this is the bag for you, the question I have for you is if you're the kind of photographer that likes to take pictures in places or extreme conditions like this, or maybe this, or possibly even this, then this might be the bag for you. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's get right to it. One of the things that I wanted to do um, to show you how comfortable this bag is because it is one of the most comfortable bags that I've ever uh, come across. And so let me just show you how easy it is to get on and off. Like some, some backpacks you struggle, but this one is just effortless. And the only caveat is that I've taken five, ten minutes to set the bag up. So I took it out of the box, had a good look at it, make sure there was no damage, you know, anything like that. Not that I've ever received a Think Tank product with any damage, but um, I always take a close look, make sure there's no ripped seams or anything like that. And I set the straps up, the belt, and your cinch straps. And that's what I think some people may miss in videos when they cover backpacks. So let me just show you that. So you've got a chest uh, cinch strap. And the really nice feature of the cinch strap is that these things slide up and down, almost on like a little rail system here. On both, they're movable on both sides. And so I found having this all the way down, it just helps to make the bag fit that much better. Uh, the next thing is that you've got two cinch straps on each side. I've got them pulled all the way in, but basically just take them and give them a yank and it pulls the load in and it keeps the center uh, of gravity, you know, a little more balanced for you. Uh, and that means uh, not so much of a backache at the end of a long hike. <laughs> and on the top, the same thing. Two straps, and, and they're not hard to find. They're just hanging right out there and uh, very easy to access. And so I'm 6'2 and shrinking, so We'll just give you the 360 here. I think for my height and weight, this bag is a perfect fit. And for my Nikon gear, 7200 attached, uh, a couple other lenses, speed light, I mean, and rain jacket, I got all kinds of stuff in this bag. And I will take the bag over to the bench and show you the top down view. We'll take a real close up look at it. I thought it was important to just, you know, make sure that you understand the great padding here extra cinch strap, two extra cinch, cinch straps on the bottom, and two extra cinch straps on the top, okay? Okay, so one more thing I wanted to clarify with you, and that is the Photocross 15 is a backpack. It's not a sling bag like the smaller size uh, Photocross bags. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So if you take the belt strap off, undo the chest strap, it's easy to get out of the bag and slide it around like so but a little bit awkward to get at the pull and pull it around. The bag is designed more to be laid on its side and open the panel like this. So if you're out on a mountainside, you can put it down on a rock or what have you, or even kneel down and put it on your knees and then you can get at your gear uh, like so. So just remember, it's a backpack, not a sling bag. It's a backpack with a side opening, which I think is really cool. I haven't seen anyone do that before. So let's take it over to the bench now and we'll take a really close look at the materials that have been used and the quality of construction. Okay, so let's get into this bag, Photocross 15. What you see is this bag is, is totally designed for the outdoors. You know, uh, water resistant material on the front here, tarpaulin material on the bottom, lots of attention to detail, reinforcement around the molly loops here. If you want to carry your tripod on the back of the bag like so, you've got that option. If you prefer to carry it on the side, you've got that option. And the straps for attaching the tripod uh, are included, so no issues there. Now, moving over to the side of the bag, 
there's your mesh pocket for a water bottle or you can put the legs of your tripod down here you'll notice that the bottom of the pouch is reinforced so that if you're using the bag uh, or, or using the pouch for the tripod it's not going to tear and, and you can see the attention to detail here lots of double stitching along the sides I mean really well made bag for sure and um, one little uh, item I wanted to show you here I've, I've noticed that a lot of people tend to struggle with these clips and the, there's a little trick to them I found that if you push the metal forward and then push the plastic down they come off really easily so let me just yeah so the trick is just push the metal forward first like this and push the plastic down and they're almost effortless to get in and out so if you're struggling with them uh, you know you're you're likely doing something wrong but that's it, nice and easy, and there's two sets of them. So one for the top loops and one for the bottom loops, or to use the bag on the side. Now on the top of the bag, everything that a photographer would need, um, it's really at your fingertips. Heavy duty strap, you can grab the bag and go. Look at the attention to detail with the seam sealed zippers here to keep the water out. YKK heavy duty zippers, and look at the pull. I mean, somebody was really uh, thinking when they came up with this idea these is probably one of the coolest things on this bag for sure and even with gloves on it just makes the zipper effortless to open and close again more attention to detail here you know reinforcements on the shoulder strap on both sides uh, double stitching here all around where the grab handles are so lots of, of little features here that make this bag a uh, really high value product for sure now if we flip this down so I've already mentioned a couple of times now that this is not a sling bag, it's a side uh, opening bag. And we open it up, you know, again, look at this, more attention to do a little flap here just to help you open and close the zipper. You've got mesh pockets on the inside here. As far as the carry capacity goes, there's our D200 with a Sigma 70 to 200 uh, attached. Uh, there's no grip on it. I'll just put that over to the side like so. And as far as your laptop capacity, this is our Dell Precision 5520. This is a 15 inch laptop that fits in uh, in the laptop pocket like so, fairly straightforward. And like all MindShift Think Tank bags, it includes uh, a waterproof cover uh, for the bag, which is a, a great feature for sure. So let's zip this up. And let's take a look a really good look at the important part of the bag and that is your shoulder straps here now on the top you've got a strap on each side for cinching the bag down so you can adjust how far or near the load is to your back a really nice foam padded breathable shoulder straps pat lots of padding here i already mentioned and showed you how well this bag fits me i'm 6'2 uh, and shrinking at the moment and don't forget these rails here for adjusting your shoulder strap and that's on both sides of the shoulder strap and another thing that i like to do i have this little phone case that i like to use and so you've got lots of options to mount something like this on the molly loops that are on both sides of the shoulder strap so that's a nice little feature as well all right last but not least on the uh, strap situation is the belt strap and so there's two strips of velcro underneath the foam padding here so you can hear it and if you want you get your hand in here take this side off take this side off and you can slide the belt out i won't do it it takes a little bit of doing to to get it done but it does it is removable for sure and <clears throat> two things here i want to point out first of all this is your cinch strap so that once you're wearing uh, the backpack you can pull these straps in and out so it brings the load in or out and just gives you a little bit better fit uh, lots of attention to detail here again i mean there's double stitching all the straps are reinforced here which is really nice um, same thing on this side you've got a cinch strap on this side and you also have a little bit of a foam uh, strap here so that you know the ends of your strap which are a little bit longer so you can adjust for different body sizes they're not flapping around all over the place so this little foam piece here just keeps everything tied up keeps it uh, neat and tidy and out of the way so it's not catching on things as you're working with the bag so 
you know, what can I say, folks? Photocross 15, it's a terrific bag. It's going to give you years of great service. Um, don't hesitate. Uh, just go out and, and pick one up if you think that um, this is the bag for you. If you're looking for something that's a side loader and you want to work that way, um, I think the Photocross 15 would be a great choice. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. What can I say about the Mindshift Photocross 15? Absolutely phenomenal bag, especially if you're going to take it in the great outdoors, do any kind of extreme photography. Um, it's well weatherproofed. I think it's a great value for the money. You're going to get lo lots of years of service out of it for sure. Um, I hope the video was helpful. If you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to connect in. And if you want to uh, borrow or use any of the backgrounds in any of my videos, just uh, drop me a line. I'm happy to send you PSDs or JPEGs or anything like that whether it's Camtasia files, or if you need help with Camtasia, anything like that, I'm happy to help out. If you're a YouTuber and you're just getting started, you're wondering how some of this stuff works. Um, I'm continually perfecting my game. Um, I'm actually shooting this video on a Panasonic G85. That's a new camera for me, so I'm hoping the quality is going to be a little better. Always trying to up my game a little bit, but uh, I digress. That's it for this one. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like because that helps us out as well. And uh, okay, we'll see you next time. Bye now.